another Broadway theatre vlog. I'm here, I'm not on my own for once. One, two trips, no actually three trips of this trip that I'm not on my own. And with Jake, it's our first theatre trip. Hi. It's our first time actually in the theatre together. This is a moment. We're here to see Hello Dolly, Bernadette Peters, and more importantly, Charlie Stemp. <laughs> Bernadette Peters, if you're watching, I love you, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm way Charlie more excited Stamp. about Charlie Stepp. We love you a little more. <laughs> um, I have been an idiot. I took the complete wrong subway. So it's literally three minutes before the show, and I got here about three minutes ago. So that's why I look a little bit shiny, <laughs> look a little bit like a clam, but it's all good. And we're the front row of the balcony. Jake's struggling with the leg room a tiny bit. I'm fine actually. <laughs> I never. Like, this is actually a really good leg room. I never don't struggle with the leg room. Yeah, you are. Just um, remind the audience like, how tall you are. I am six foot six inches. I don't know how what that is in. No, we have the London. same. We're six foot, yes. Yeah, oh, like, I am, we, we I say am like six foot. foot six inches. Wow. Tall. Yeah, yeah you and are. I don't fit in any room. <laughs> But for me, first row of the balcony is actually pretty cushy. I'm okay with it. Great um, view. Oh my god, it's an amazing view. I will obviously show you. Um, is it like this at the interval as well? Yeah. Okay, so I don't have to worry about getting my pretty shots <laughs> now. Because sometimes it changes, doesn't it? And you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, you haven't got the shot. Oh my god, I see. It'll be stop. a fun shot for the end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's such it's such a beautiful theatre as well. I love that on this trip I'm seeing loads of new theatres as well. Yep. Yep. So that's really exciting. Anyway, I'm going to stop vlogging now oh. and we'll chat to you in the interval. Um, I'm going to drag you. Well, you're going to want to move anyway, aren't you? Yeah, so, yeah. for leg room purposes. My legs are and <laughs> yeah, we'll chat to you in the interval. And now I can breathe. And we're going to see Charlie Stemp on Broadway! Ah! Totally cool. <laughs> stage door for Hello Dolly. The interval was far too short to have any chatting. Was there? It's <laughs> just no time. Did you love it? Which is your, your fourth time seeing it now. Mm -hmm. I'm All three dollies. Oh, oh. That is impressive. I was just saying to Jake, if I had another free evening, I'd come back. That's how good it was. So, it's so good. So good. Like Bernadette Peters, we squealed. I, like, I wouldn't even say I squealed, I think I shrieked. I mean, it's one of the best entrances. <laughs> it was so like, good. I, um, and then you definitely squealed when Charlie came on. So oh, yeah. I'm I, was, happy, I like, wanted him to know he was loved. Yeah, oh, he was so loved. The audience. Oh. oh. <sighs> 
Or... I'm trying to say that's the queue that everyone's done if everyone's just moved. Yeah, but... yeah. Oh man. And then we just got to see Charlie and actually say hello, managed to like, be like, hi, came to see you on Broadway, hello. <laughs> um, so happy, so happy. everyone welcome back to the chatty section of the vlog as you saw i went to see hello dolly on broadway even just the thought of it makes me really excited i've already been i saw it but i'm so excited about it i need to say this straight away but i loved this show i didn't think that i would love it as much as i did and it really kind of i, I don't know it, it took over me like it was just a wonder. Anyway, I'm gonna get into that more obviously in a bit. But first of all, I have to say it was so wonderful to finally see a show with my lovely friend Jake from New York. Obviously we've met each other a few times before he came over to London last year. I was over in New York in September. We were meant to see a show in September. We were meant to see The Great Comet of 1812, rest in peace. So obviously when I said that I was coming back over in January, we were like, right, we definitely need to see shows together. And we booked Hello Dolly ages ago. Can't remember the exact date, but ages ago. Basically, as soon as it was announced that Bernadette Peters and Charlie Stemp were joining the cast, I was like, Jake, we need to book this immediately. We need to. So we did. <laughs> we didn't book it with any discounts or anything because obviously it was so far in advance, but our tickets weren't that bad to be honest. We were the first row of the balcony, which is their upper circle for any Brits watching. Most of you are gonna be Brits watching the upper circle. The view is amazing. I was really, really shocked actually. It didn't really feel like we were far away at all. It was a fantastic view and this theater was gorgeous, I loved it. Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy thinking about this theater visit. <laughs> I just have so much joy attached to it. I was almost late to the show, which is really bad. I got on the wrong subway and ended up going the wrong way. I think it's because I that was my first day of Broadway Con, so I had the Broadway Con route in my head and accidentally took that route rather than the Times Square route. But I made it on time, as you saw in the video. Managed to get a quick chatty section in before the show. So as you know, I like to go into shows blind if I can, and obviously I did that with this show. I've never seen the film or anything. Funnily enough, the only thing that I knew from this show was the song Put On Your Sunday Clothes. And that's because of Wally. -E. <laughs> So educated. <laughs> Genuinely though, that song brings me so much joy. It just gets stuck in my head at random points and I'm not complaining. So anyway, let's yeah chat about the show. I kind of got the vibe that it was gonna be sort of similar vibes to kind of Half a Sixpence, which obviously I saw last year a few times. Um, obviously with Charlie Stump as well. And also kind of singing in the rain, that sort of era and style of show, which I love. I'm all about that style of show. So I kind of went into it knowing like, I think I'm gonna like this. I might even love it. And yeah, I did. I really did. I love a big grand overture at the start of a show, even if people are rude and talk through it, it's fine. I won't get too angry at them, but this one especially was just glorious. I just had a massive smile on my face as the show started. And when Bernadette Peters appeared in the way that they do in this show, I squealed. <laughs> like I didn't expect the reaction that came out of my mouth to be the reaction that I would have. I genuinely like sat up in my chair and I think I've recoiled and I shrieked a little bit. I shrieked like a little girl. I'm not ashamed to admit that. <laughs> so that happened. I didn't really, I was obviously excited to see her because I've, I've loved Bernadette Peter since I was like a kid. Like I grew up watching Annie mostly and I know that's not like the pinnacle of her career, but you know, when you grow up watching someone and then you get the chance to see them on a Broadway stage and it was just very overwhelming. And then when Charlie did his appearance, both Jake and I were just a mess of fangirls. Like, it was a wonderful moment. It was 
great. I don't even know where to start with this show because I had such a good time. I've got so many things to say. Who knows where to start? Okay, I'm gonna start with the costumes. I don't know why, but that's screaming out to me as something to start on because the costumes in this were just divine. I mean, you can tell this is a high quality production because, ugh, oh, they were just glorious to see. I absolutely loved that. I mean, this, this entire ensemble actually were fantastic. I thought they sounded so beautiful. There was a moment, and I think it might have been put on your Sunday clothes. And I don't know how to describe it, but you know when there's just this wonderful moment of all the ensemble, this sounds really basic, but like singing the same note and it just sounds like heaven. <laughs> It just sounded so wonderful and it felt like almost just like struck me in the heart with its just beauty. And that's possibly the wankiest thing I've ever said, but I'm fine with it because it's true. It just felt like, oh my God, I love musical theatre. It was one of those moments. I was full of joy. It was amazing. Oh my God, this show was so good. I'm overwhelmed. <sighs> I need to calm down. Bernadette Peters is obviously, I think she's 70 now. I think she just had her birthday recently. And oh my God, absolute respect for someone who's like now in their seventies and is doing a Broadway show eight times a week. I mean, how incredible is that? It was the first week of her and Charlie being in the cast and some other people, but they're my main people. Sorry to everyone else, but those are the main people I was there for. So yeah, it was their first week and Bernadette did flub a couple of her lines, but you know, it's Bernadette Peters. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna let her get away with it. <laughs> I didn't expect her to be as funny as she was. And I think obviously a lot of that is to do with the character, but there's only so much that the script can do for you in terms of comedy. It is a lot in the way you deliver it. Isn't that the most like obvious thing I've ever said? But she really delivered it so well. And I loved getting to hear her sing live. Oh my God, it was just such a joy to see her in the flesh right there in front of me. Not really, two balconies up, but you know, like she was there and it was amazing. I'm gonna take a quick moment to fangirl over Charlie Stemp and then I'll move on with the rest of my chat. Charlie Stemp is an incredible actor and this is an insane opportunity for him. And oh my God, am I thrilled that I was there to see him in that show? Heck yes, I was. I've been really lucky actually in the last few Broadway trips. So when I went over to New York in September, 2015, I'd booked the holiday anyway. And then Rachel Tucker announced that she was going to be the Broadway Elphaba. And literally she started the week before I got there in September. And I was like, what luck is this? What, what joy? This happening again with Charlie. I think I've just got weird luck. I've just got a weird sense for knowing when the Brits are gonna join shows on Broadway, I guess. But I was so thrilled. I probably would have gone anyway for Bernadette Peters, but I probably would have just gone for Charlie Stemp as well. The audiences loved him as well, which was so, so nice to see, especially considering this is not related to the audiences loving him, but I just need to say it. Charlie literally finished the pantomime at the Palladium on the 14th of January and then started in Hello Dolly, I think on the 21st. That is madness. I'm in awe. I'm in absolute awe, that's just incredible. And obviously he was incredible. He was so good. And they've changed part of the choreography in one of the songs. I believe it's called Dancing. I'm just gonna double check. Yes, Dancing. They've made it so he has his own like standout bit of choreography, which obviously you would. Why would you put Charlie Stemp in a Broadway show and not give him a massive chunk of choreography to do? And he slays it. He's amazing. And as I said, the audiences were really, really loving him. And I was just there like, proud Brit, yay. Also, I should mention that Jake, who I went with to see Hello Dolly, he saw Half a Sixpence when he was in London, partly because I recommended it to him. What can I say? I've got good taste. And he loved it. So for both of us to be seeing Charlie in a show on Broadway together, that was, that was just great. That was a great friend moment as well as a great theater moment. And I'm glad that we were able to have it together. As I mentioned before, the ensemble of this show were just a wonder to watch. And I really loved the, I mean, this, this whole show was so grand, but all the like big scenes that the ensemble were in, it was just so amazing. Especially the scenes in, what was the restaurant called? In the Harmonia Gardens restaurant. There was a brilliant scene just before Dolly's, I think it was her act two entrance, 
must have been because it was so amazing and they were doing all of this choreography with like plates and stuff that makes it sound so basic but it was obviously like all of the ensemble pretending to be like waiters and such and it was just all perfectly done especially because i don't think i mentioned this the stage had if it was at the orchestra visible yeah it must have been so they had like a sort of a lip i'm gonna describe it as that so um yeah they had like a bit of the stage that kept, this is a really bad description i'm sorry i'm gonna do it this way so a bit of the stage that went like out and then the orchestra pit was there as well and i mean that was making me a bit anxious not gonna lie because i was like please don't kick the conductor in the head don't fall down please just be safe <laughs> but yeah that was just amazing to watch and then dolly's entrance into that restaurant it's just one of those moments that's gonna stick with me forever that entrance I'm just shook. Also, this is kind of a spoiler, so I don't want to say too much. If you know, if you've seen the show, you know. But the train moment. It's been like a month and I'm still not over it. How the hell do they fit that in the theater and in the wings? My jaw was on the floor. Genuinely, I just, I couldn't handle what was happening. It was one of my favorite things of theater I've ever seen just because I've never been more shook than in that moment. I know I've said shook a lot in this video, but I was shook at that moment. How? I, how? I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I've realized I've talked a lot already, but there are so many things that I've yet to mention, such as the fact Gavin Creel was in this show as well. Also, Victor Garber. I just, I, so many names in this cast. I literally could not deal with it. Gavin Creel is an amazing actor and to see Charlie like being his stage buddy, it was all a bit too much to be honest. Yeah, they, they work together so brilliantly. I loved their like comedy duo. It was just so fun to watch. I, you know what? I'm really sad that I didn't have the chance to see it one more time while I was out there. And I think it's one of those shows that even if the cast was full of no one that I knew, no one that I'd seen before, I think I'd still absolutely love it because it's one of those shows that just brought me so much joy. It put me on like a theater high. I loved it. Like, oh my goodness. Can I fly back to New York to see it right now? Please, can I actually? <laughs> Kate Baldwin. As as well was so fantastic oh my god i just i don't think i have enough words to describe how incredible this production was i had the best time i was so glad that i've seen this show i was so so glad i feel like i need to wrap it up there because i just don't know what else to say without sounding like a blathering fangirl but obviously i loved this show like genuinely it's become one of my favorite shows that's a big thing. That's a very big thing for me to say. I just had the best time. You know, sometimes you want to go to the theater and just have a really good uplifting night. And that is exactly what I needed. And oh, I just had such a good time. I loved it so much. I might actually cry. <laughs> I need to stop being so emotional. I would really love to know if you've been to see Hello Dolly on Broadway or if you've seen a production of it anywhere. I know that we had a production of it at Regent's Park Open Air Theatre, I think a couple of few years ago now. And I'm really sad now that I missed out on that because I could have known about this wonderful show many years earlier. I mean, obviously knew about it, but you know, I don't, ah, I could have seen it. <laughs> If you've seen a production of Hello Dolly, I'd love to know your thoughts. Even if you've just listened to the cast recording of this latest revival, I'd love to know your thoughts. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future. I make a lot of theatre content, so if you enjoy theatre, you should subscribe. I hope you're all doing really well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.